Hello and welcome everyone. In this video, we will show you an example of a real process developed using the electronic platform. In this process, the robot will read information from the settings file, then open up various news sites and retrieve the latest news from those sites according to the search parameters that we specify in the settings file. From there, the result will be saved in an Excel file where each sheet will contain news for one particular search query. So that's the general overview. Let's break it down step by step. First, the robot will open up what we call a configuration file. Configuration file looks like this, and essentially it's broken down into two sheets. The first sheet is titled settings, and this allows you to set the number of news articles that you would like to retrieve, allows you to specify the folder where the result file will be stored, and it also allows you to specify the link that the robot will use as a template for its search. The second sheet contains the search queries. Essentially, uh, what do we want to search for? So as you can see on the screen, we got taxes, we got unemployment, US GDP, stock market, dollar rate. And uh, just imagine you can put it in any type of search request that you'd like here. Uh, the robot will take that request, search for it, and bring us the articles that we want. Uh, from there, what the, you know, the bot is going to do is it's going to open up Google. It's going to search using those search queries that we've already specified. And uh, specifically, it's going to extract information about the last three news stories that Google has on display. The robot will retrieve the news source, the time, the title, description, and link. And from there, the robot will save this data to the resulting Excel file. Here in uh, this folder right here uh, that I've titled resort, or results, uh, there, uh, right now, as you can see, there's no, the, the folder is completely and, and totally empty. Uh, but once we run the bot, at the end of the, the, the work process, the robot will create an Excel file here. Uh, now let's go ahead and uh, start the process and look and see what happens. So I'm gonna go over here to our development tool, electronic dev tool. As you see, we have a green button right here, our start button, we'll click that real quick, and bam, this is where the magic happens. The work process has started. Uh, so what the robot is going to do, it's going to take in consideration everything that we specified in that configuration file. It's going to open the browser and begin to carry out the instructions given uh, to it by us, the user. So as you see, the robot has opened up the news for the first topic from the configuration file, that it was taxes. Now it is extracting relevant information on the latest news. Uh, as mentioned earlier, you know, we could specify the number of recent news uh, stories that we wanted in that configuration file. Uh, right now at the moment, it's three, uh, but it can be any number that you would like it to be. Also, the format we chose for that uh, settings Excel file was not something we chose randomly. We chose it in a format that is in fact uh, pretty convenient for any user to work with since everything looks clear and you can easily make changes to it. As for Google, you can always use any other search engine to perform such actions because the principle here, uh, what we're doing in terms of the task, uh, the algorithm, it will not change in any way. The robot itself was actually developed in a reasonably short amount of time. It took less than one working day to lay out the logic, add the actions that we wanted, and play with the settings. Uh, let's just give it a couple more seconds here. Uh, it looks like it's going ahead and finishing up, uh, knocking out. Uh, the task that we gave it. Yep. Yep. Looks like uh, it's finished up. Yep, there it is. Uh, speaking of a short amount of time, that itself uh, took a short amount of time, less than a minute right there. Uh, let's go ahead and check that folder that I spoke about earlier. Let's see if we've got our results. And bam, yes, ladies and gentlemen, we do have our result here. Let's open it up, see if the robot did what we wanted it to do. So here we are. Yeah, we got the latest news the robot retrieved upon our request for taxes. Also got it for unemployment, GDP, stocks, USD. Uh, let's go ahead and just dig a little bit deeper here into the stocks, or not to the stocks, but the taxes. Click on that, check the link. Uh, let's just make sure that this link it works. Everything is a okay and ready to go. Open up right here, paste. And let's just see if the title, text, and everything else uh, corresponds to what we see in the Excel file. Uh, as you see, we got Warren propo uh, proposes ending tax, uh, any uh, Trump tax cuts and adding three new taxes. Let's check it out from the Excel sheet. Yep. And we got the same thing right here. Looks like everything lines up and matches like it's supposed to. Uh, for other search queries, looks like the robot did the same. 
just checking those real quick. Yep. Uh, now let's briefly talk about the structure of the robot. So uh, essentially it consists of two subroutines. The first subroutine uh, is, you know, directly reads the settings file and saves the data. The second subroutine, it's a click on it right here. Uh, it goes through all the search queries from the configuration file, uh, performs the search itself and saves the result. Uh, so ladies and gentlemen, what we just demonstrated here was a real process built on our platform. As you can see, it is quite useful, flexible, scalable, and at the same time, easy to develop. If you have any questions about a particular task or process you would like to automate, feel free to email us at sales at electronic.com. We'll be happy to take a look at your task and get you started.